Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming to you with a beginner's eyeshadow tutorial and I'm going to show you step by step how to achieve this eyeshadow look. It's really simple. You only need one palette and four brushes. So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. All right, to start off, make sure you set your eyes with the concealer and then use a powder to set on top. So I'm just gonna use this Pro Filter Fenty Powder in the shade Butter. The reason why you wanna set that concealer is so that your eyeshadow doesn't stick anywhere. Set it with any powder, honestly. This is just something I have. <laughs> okay, so for this tutorial, you're literally gonna need three brushes. You need a, some type of fluff, fluffy brush. This is the Morphe 5M573. You need some type of pencil brush. This is the Morphe E18, a small little bullet brush. And then you're gonna need some type of flat brush. This is the MAC 242. And you honestly don't need this because you can use your fingers. So I'm gonna show you both ways. So we're gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And I love this. I have the original one. Then this one is just even better because I love these vibrant shades. So for a simple eye, you literally need like three shades. You need like a light shade in the crease, a darker shade, and then like a pretty shimmery shade on the lid. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. I'm gonna zoom you in. If you don't have this palette, that's fine too, but you wanna take some type of neutral shade that's a little shit darker than your skin tone. I'm gonna go on with Love Handles right here. So I'm pushing it in there, tapping off the excess. Always tap off the excess because you don't wanna start with too much. So once it's nice, and on the brush, no extra powder coming off. I'm gonna go ahead and start that in the crease in between your, like your eye socket. You can feel where it is, so your brush should fit in there nicely. And then I'm gonna just push that in there and go back and forth. And do circular motions as well. So windshield wiper motions and circular motions to blend it in there. I'm grabbing some more because I want a lot of pigment. Pigment. Since we're just going in with three shades, I really want this to really show up. Okay, so sometimes what I also do is pack it on first. Pack it on first and then blend. If you pack it on, the color will be more vibrant and then less fallout as well. Okay, so now that that crease is nice and blown out, I'm gonna go ahead and zip you guys through this one. When there's nothing much left on my brush, that's when I blend upwards towards the brow bone. And that's how you're gonna get your flawless strokes. You don't just wanna leave it in here, you need to blend upward when like nothing's left on the brush. So there's no harsh lines. And then make sure you always bring it in to the inner corner ish here to make it all, you know, cohesive. Okay. Crease is done. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the darker shade. So you can use any kind of shade if you want it to be more purple, more pink, more orange. Pick whatever shade you want. To keep this simple and neutral, I'm gonna go ahead in with Grateful and Homebody. So I'm just mixing these two right here. I'm using these two shades because they're nice darker shades of brown. So I'm pushing it in there and tapping off the excess. And then this one I'm gonna pack first and then blend away. Pack first and then blend. And I'm keeping this shade lower than that other shade I put on. You kind of want it to be a gradient effect. Same motions, packing it, circular motions, and then windshield wipers. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the shimmery shade and you can use a brush or a finger for this. I'll show you what it's like with the brush and then I'll show you like what it's what it's like with the finger. My favorite is the finger because it's quick and on the go and super simple for you beginners. I'm going to take Get Ready With Me, I think. I'm gonna take this one. And I'm gonna take it on my flat 242 brush and I push it on there. I'm not gonna tap, well yeah, I guess I will tap off any extra because this will fall out. 
all you want to do is focus this on the inner two-third part of your eye and you don't want to take it too high into the crease so I always focus it down below first and I'm using padding motion so I'm patting it on first tap off the excess well, I find the crease and I don't really go much higher than that I go a little higher because I have hooded lids so I really want to see the shadow. If I don't take it a little above the crease you won't be able to see it. Now to make it super vibrant I'm just going to take a little of my setting spray and I put it on the brush and then I spray it twice and then I'm going to put that on the inner right on top and then I'm dragging it across. You want it to blend into the back color. Okay, so there we go. I like it better with my finger, so I'm gonna take my ring finger on the other side, because I'm doing this side and I'm like ambidextrous. So I'm gonna just put that on my finger, it looks like this, see? And then I'm literally just gonna swipe it on there. You see how vibrant that shows up? So pretty. And I'm swiping it across. And if you can see, with your finger, it shows up so pretty. You can do this like with any shimmer shade. Just use that finger of yours and push it in there. Now, since I do have pink lipstick on for my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go in with the iridescent pink shade. But you really just want to use a highlight shade. You can use whatever highlighter you use. I normally use my Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter in Balm. But today, I'm going to go ahead and take a leak. My bad, you do need one more brush. And it's the M213. You could use this brush if you wanted to, but I just like mine really super small and tight up in there. So I'm taking I'm In It, this pink iridescent shade. And I'm putting it on my brush, and I'm going to pack it on first in the inner corner and kind of blend to meet the other one. So I focus it on the inner corner here and I bring it upwards and then I also drag it on the lower lash line a smidge. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and just pat over this a little bit to make sure there's no harsh lines. And to be fun, I'm going to take a little of the pink and add it right here. Just because why not? It ties it all together. It's going to blend in to be easier. Okay, so now for the lower lash line. That's when your little pencil glow lip brush comes in. And I'm going to take those two darker shades here. Homebody and Grateful. And I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line. And you want to connect it to your crease shade. And I'm literally packing it on there and then I just go back and forth. I look up so I can see what I'm doing. I like a really blown out eye because I'm here for the dramatic. She feels me. Make sure you tap off that extra shadow. Now for those of you watching this video that aren't beginners, you can go ahead and take a deeper shade if you'd like, but you don't have to. You can take it one step further. I'm literally just dragging this across. I'm only gonna take this shade, why not leave it simple? Because I'm extra, I wanna add a little bit more color. So I'm gonna go in with Next right here and it's this purpley shade, well, just a little bit and push it against the lash line. Just to add a little dimension. Again, like I said, the shades we had before are just fine. So since I'm out of my liquid liner, I'm just gonna take the black here and on an angled pencil. And I'm just gonna go ahead and push that against the lash line and make it look like eyeliner. Smart, huh? I'm leaving this blown out so I'm not doing a wing liner. This is my favorite thing technique to do. If you want it to be simple, I'm gonna take a little bit of the liner too and just push it right here in the outer corner. Now time for mascara.
You stick it in the middle, then you attach the outer corner, and then the inner. Okay, now that our lashes are on, I can see I wanna add a little more shimmer. I'm just gonna take that on my finger and dab it right there. Then I'm gonna take the little highlighter brush and whatever was on there and just stick it up there. To kind of pull everything together. I'm not taking it too low. So as you guys see, lashes made a huge difference with our eye look. You don't have to wear lashes if you don't want to, but I just love lashes. Mascara is definitely important though, because I blew it out because I knew I was putting mascara on the bottom. So you see the shadow kind of goes out a little bit past the lashes and just makes it look like so pretty. All right, you guys, so that is it for eyeshadow. I think that was pretty simple. Literally, you needed four brushes. These four brushes right here are essential for giving you a complete eye look. Again, your ring finger is amazing. So this isn't 100% necessary, but without these four brushes, I would not be able to complete any eye look. You know what I mean? You need that fluffy brush really to blend out any colors in your crease. And then you need this little bullet brush to go ahead and complete your lash line. A look is not complete without that lash line done in my opinion, because it just ties everything together. I really do hope you learned something if you are a beginner. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.